in today's video we are going to discuss about sharepoint online highlighted content and we will focus on the custom query part how we can use kql camel or managed property to filter the documents so that it will display a selected documents or the documents which satisfy the filter criteria in our highlighted content web part if you have not gone through uh, my previous video where i have explained what exactly this highlighted content web part and how we can add and how we can configure and use that then i'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at that so if you are new to the channel my name is vijay and i'm a microsoft mvp in sharepoint and uh, uh, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel uh, subscribe it so that you'll get notification on the videos that i'll publish and uh, i usually publish weekly two videos on sharepoint office 365 spfx power platform all these technology videos you will get it now to uh, first let us see how we can use this manage property to filter the uh, records or the documents so i will open the sharepoint online site you can see here this is our page this is a modern page and in this modern page let us first add this web part so i'll click on edit and you can see here if you hover the cursor then you can see just click over here and then you can select highlighted content if you do not see this then you can just search over here and you will get this web part so click on that and by default it will display the most re recent documents as i explained in the previous video let us see how we can configure it for managed meta managed property so before uh, doing this uh, let me show you i have this uh, library uh, this documents library and this is ats info uh, departments this is uh, a site column which i have added in this library and it has the values you can see hr uh, it finance like this is basically a choice column if i will show you you can see here column setting edit then you can see here this these are the choice values that you can check it here now if i'll come back here you can see uh, on the filter uh, you can on the filter you can select the filter one and then uh, this site so that it will uh, display the documents from this site and then we want to display the documents and any kind of document maybe it is word excel powerpoint anything you can select any and uh, now if you'll go to the filter section uh, then you can see there is a last option you can see managed property select this and then it will uh, you can see here there is a, a text box that it is saying you can enter a word or to find these properties so in this case i know my site column name is start with uh, ts info so i'll just select it and uh, once you type it then in this drop down you will be able to see it will show you your custom uh, properties manage property and you can just select it once you select it you can see here equals and it is asking the value that you want so in this case uh, if you will uh, click over here uh, you can provide the value uh, you can see here I will provide let's say HR uh, and you can see here it is showing me the documents which are uh, of uh, where the department is HR if I will show you you can see here it is showing me the document which is uh, HR now uh, next you can also add multiple filters so even I will provide uh, let's say IT uh, you can see here it is showing me this document so um, this way you can do the manage property so if I will just close it you can republish it you can see you will be able to see these things uh, you can add multiple filters also for example if you want to display the documents uh, either from the department or IT or uh, you know training so you can do the same way you can select manage property and uh, you can say let's say TS info um, I will select this one and department or uh, let's say equal to training so you can see I put training once I put running, you can see you will be able to see more documents now you can see. So this is how we can add multiple of uh, filter conditions as well. So this is one way to show or uh, to filter the documents using manage property. Next we will uh, see how we can use the KQL or uh, and the camel also. But before that if you are interested for training then I have a complete training course you can see here. 
this is the complete training course for developers and also i have training courses for site owners so you can see um, and you can mod module wise you can see everything over here this is more than 60 hours and there are 23 modules are there it also cover spfx power platform everything you can have a look at this i'll put the link in the video description back to our web part you can see here uh, next what we will do is we will uh, configure the property here uh, basically we will go to the custom query and in this case if you look at here we will check both the things first we will uh, see the kql how we can use it and the other one that we can use is camel query so if you will come here uh, then in the source basically uh, there are couple of things are there this side document library uh, site collection pages library or you can select uh, sites or you can even select all sites now if you want to use uh, this kql then uh, it should be this site or this site collection and selected site if you have these three options then you can use kql here for example i'll say this site you can see here it is query text kql that means i can add the query over here but if I will select, let's say document library, then we have to use camel here. So that's the difference or the best on the source. You, you either you can use KQL or you can use camel. Now, if I will just go to this site, because first we will see KQL, I will just add a simple thing here. Uh, and uh, the simple thing is, for example, I will say, uh, let's say uh, the title um, where the title uh, is, let's say, uh, I will put something here let's say bj so if i'll put this and i'll say apply now ideally i should see all the documents where the title is bj you can see here uh, so all these documents somewhere bj is there in the title now this is how we can use kql so i'll just close it if i'll republish it you can see here these are the documents which are uh, where the title is kql and sorry where the title is bj and it is displaying and we are doing by using kql the next one is the camel so uh, if you have not familiar with camel query then uh, you can use the youtube camel query builder i have already installed here you can have a look at this i have a sharepoint site uh, this sharepoint site and uh, if you look at this there is a documents document library and uh, you can see we want to filter uh, where the department is it so now this is the query that it will give us you can see and you can simply copy this and uh, if i will now go to our uh, web part you can simply edit it and uh, next go to oh, sorry edit the web part and then uh, same custom query and i will select a document library on this site and in this case i will select our documents document library and uh, here now you can add your camel query now whatever the query i will simply copy paste here but if i'll apply uh, it is not filtering it is giving me almost all the record uh, the problem is in this query box we have to add the tag view here so by default when you will use in uh, or when you will uh, take the exact code from the query builder the view or tag is not there um, so now you can see here if you will put then it is showing me all these things where the department is id only this five will be having department id department it you can see uh, the um, so that thing you have to uh, just remember uh, because when you are using you can see here it is simply giving me query without the view tag so just add the view tag else it will not come and this is the option even if i will add let's say just to make sure it is working if i will just change it to training uh, if, if you'll apply then you will see you can see here these three uh, things are there three documents are there so this is how we can use camel uh, query to filter it and also i will put the link uh, uh, where you can uh, see this uh, article where uh, you can get to how we can use uh, camel query builder everything so i'll put the link in the video description as well now this is how we can use our web part uh, with uh, kql camel or the managed property where you can use these things to filter the documents in sharepoint online highlighted content query content web part now if you want similar kind of videos uh, then uh, subscribe to the channel press the bell icon you will get the notification as soon as i will upload a video and then i uploaded usually two videos a week so you'll get a lot of free videos and you can learn something in sharepoint thank you and have a nice day